Hello everyone again. Uh, now this video we will move to the exercise 10, uh, which is talking about the inverse properties. Uh, the inverse property is quite interesting and very useful. Uh, if you read from this uh, uh, the case study, uh, you can see is uh, every object property may have a corresponding inverse property, uh, which means if you have a relation uh, starting from individual A to uh, individual B, then the inverse uh, property will link individual B back to individual A. Uh, so if we build this uh, relationship uh, using the inverse properties, then you uh, you will get automatically uh, the reasoning. Uh, then is uh, you create just A to B, and the B to A will be uh, the reasoning. Uh, and to get from the ontology. Uh, so uh, one more thing is uh, before we uh, made the action is this uh, naming uh, standard. So normally is uh, if we call our uh, the property name as the has property, then it's uh, it's good is uh, in English is uh, using the is property of, uh, but. This is uh, starting from the English language. <coughs> if you are working in the other language, it's depending on is uh, how you call the inverse property. Uh, like in the Mandarin or Chinese, uh, we don't have those uh, kind of the of uh, the uh, the warning because the sequence of the language in the sentence is uh, different than English. Uh, so. Uh, try yourself is uh, in your uh, own the local language. Uh, then we can discuss is uh, what's the interesting uh, the com uh, the difference uh, among the languages. Uh, so coming to the exercise ten, uh, so we will starting from step one. So use uh, object uh, property to create a new object property. Uh, which means is uh, we want to uh, create our inverse property to the last. The exercise nine we did is has ingredient. Uh, uh, you can point to this layer, and then you create uh, add simply. Uh, so then is adding uh, is in the uh, the same level. So we call this uh, is of. So you can see here is uh, if you only see the level one, they are in the uh, the same level, <coughs> and then uh, look at description uh, of uh, these uh, new properties. Uh, you can see several uh, the different items uh, e equivalent, sub property of, inverse of. Uh, you can also later on so we can. A different domain range, uh, and then the disjoint uh, super property of. Uh, we use this one, so inverse of, and then you can choose uh, the another property. Uh, so we want to choose this uh, high C ingredient. Then click OK. Then you can see, uh, which means is ingredient of is inverse of high C ingredient. If you click the has ingredient, then it's, uh, they also has the inverse of its ingredient of. So if you add from one property, uh, another property automatically have uh, this uh, new uh, relationship. Uh, now similarly, is uh, like uh, what we did on the has ingredient, uh, we will create our hierarchy. Then uh, one sub part is C is copying of is base of no prefix, no suffix. Do not click destroy. Finish. Then we have this uh, four total in the level two, uh, and then so uh, we add uh, the same uh, way uh, for the inverse is base of. Now you can see this also in uh, automatically because uh, we create a sub property. So this one is sub property of in, in is ingredient of, and we add this one. So they will come to the high space, and is topping off is inverse of high topping. 
that is uh, synchronized on, on my retina. So you can see here we uh, is adding some uh, additional uh, the part because inverse uh, property is also sub property. So uh, then you can see here uh, is automatically added by the retina. Uh, but from the uh, this part is uh, we can see is so uh, is as our uh, expected we add the four uh, inverse property in the level two and also the level one we have uh, the you know, one uh, two inverse property in each other. Thank you for uh, watching. So we uh, will continue uh, the this uh, uh, the prodigies uh, in the next video. Bye for now.